Hi Pisces, welcome to your July messages from Spirit Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, let's see what Spirit wants you to know at this time. So keep in mind we may get one big long message or several messages. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, in general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned, um, that makes sense. And uh, I would say you could flip the energy, so if I'm reading something and you're like, oh, that sounds like my friend, or it sounds like somebody else, or whatever, uh, keep that in mind as well. And uh, cross watchers could actually be some messages for you. All right, Pisces. Let's see, have faith. Your prayers are manifesting, remain positive, tranquility. So peace of mind here and waves of prosperity. So have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Tranquility. Make time to relax. Be still and enjoy your solitude. Indulging in much needed self-care. In waves of prosperity. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you. Wash, <laughs> wash over you now. So this is having a sense of peace and harmony and balance. And having enough time for yourself so it's, it's saying here just to have faith that whatever you're trying to bring in for yourself that will bring you the much needed wealth abundance in your life to have more time for yourself maybe you're work, working a job right now with very long hours um and maybe you're trying for a new job or a different position where it'll free up more time for yourself to have more time for yourself or you and your family saying you know don't give up hope here have faith because uh something's coming in for you that is for sure all right what else do we need to know for pisces everything you need to know pisces is down below in the description box so you can check that out if you would like to your playlist is down there if you missed your june readings i guess you could still check them out if you want to uh, maybe something may resonate and july a lot of july readings have gone out already if you're new here i do eight readings a month to a week but uh you know content times days and everything is below and always keep an eye on the community tab if i have to make changes in the next couple of months due to my um full-time job and overtime that's why you'll find updates so we have orphaned and we have time to go hmm. and fork in the road wow so you're definitely in a position right now where you have an opportunity to move in a new direction definitely with time to go you definitely know you need to move in a new direction. So wherever you are now, it's kind of giving me five of pentacles energy. And actually it is a five. So that is about change. So you're not feeling noticed. You're kind of feeling lack, uh, abandonment. It could be a relationship. It could be your job um, as well. You know, maybe on the outs with coworkers or maybe where you're living, maybe your community, just wherever you are, you're just not feeling noticed. You're just not feeling you fit in anymore. Uh, feeling kind of lonely and wanting change so you know it's like time to go 45 9 that this this cycle's kind of ran to its limit so nine and then ten new beginnings so you definitely know it's time to move in a new direction and fork in a row it's definitely about making a decision in what direction are you going to move in so we have uh, 13 which is four four is a stable grounded energy so you're gonna have to look at your options here and what um direction you move in will bring you the stability that you're longing for all right so there's definitely a choice to make and what direction to move in so let's see what the angels have to say here for you pisces pisces i do have another channel for twin flames if you'd like to check that out link is below i do mostly collectives there i just don't have time to zodiacs on both channels uh, you know two channels and a full-time job but it's just a little channel just a little something extra if you're interested link is below all right so let's see protection archangel raphael in unity so i'm feeling like you you'll, you'll find your soul tribe again so have faith you will get peace of mind a uh, maybe more peaceful place that you may be living or a new job or something where you will find your soul tribe again and you are divinely protected by the universe so please do keep that in mind and also protect yourself set those healthy boundaries as well 
and Archangel Raphael, I do believe, you know, it's the heart chakra here. So it's all things about, uh, I opened it right to it, healing, discovery, um, intellectual capability. So you will heal and you will discover um, something here that is going to be best suited for you. That's kind of what I feel. So let's see. Let's get some tarot. See if we can further see what's going on here for you, Pisces. I think I've been getting this energy a lot for you. Definitely about moving in a new direction, finding your peace of mind again, feeling your finding yourself again, finding your soul, you know, your soul, a new soul tribe, or moving in a new direction. So whoever Pisces have been watching my channel, I've been getting this energy a lot for you. All right, so what does the tarot have to say here for Pisces? Let's see. Hierophant. Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups is your brand new beginning and loving this new beginning tower. There's a change. So I definitely feel like um, Hierophant is a leveling up in a whole new way. I mean, you could be leveling up in a new career position where you're working for a bigger corporation, enterprise, or business. Knight of Wands, so it's kind of taking action, feeling really fired up and passionate about that as well. Definitely a big leveling up here. Ace of Cups, just absolutely loving this new beginning, feeling peace, harmony, joy, balance, and loving this new energy. And big shift change is happening here with the Tower. Aries energy just could be happening soon. There's the big shift and change. So feeling like you fit in. And this is a big leveling up as well, definitely here. So let's see what else four of swords yeah you've been thinking about this a lot thinking about this a lot three of pentacles it's time to rebuild yeah you feel that it's time to rebuild in a whole whole new way and there you go there's the rebuilding card and there you are on the bottom of the deck king of cups male or female it doesn't matter so definitely talking about you here and things just getting better from here on out with the wheel of fortune Wow. All right. So let's see what else we need to know here for. And also the Hierophant can speak of just higher levels in all forms, whether it's your community, it's your job, it's your friends, um, you know, whatever that is for you. It's a big level up from where you are now. A new dawn. The worst is behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. This has been coming on a lot. Yes, and time to move on. Wow. So <laughs> definitely new perspectives here, and you're definitely realizing time to move on, time to go, fork in the road, and the answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and run out so that the new can come in. It isn't, again, you're realizing here it's time. It's time for the new, and it's time to move on. We have that twice. Wow. You will connect. You could actually meet somebody new. Um, unity can be about a union. Uh, green can be about the heart chakra. All right, so you could be moving on from a relationship. You could be moving on from a job, where you're living. It could be anything here. All right, so definitely the sense of building. I mean, the Ace of Cups can be a new beginning in love or just a new energy that you're totally in awe, in love with, peace, harmony, feeling fulfilled, taking action with that Knight of Wands. So let's see what else we need to know here for Pisces. Buy the book. Okay. Serendipity. And clean it up. Well, that's been coming up a lot as well. What I feel like here, Pisces, it's about not doing things the normal way you've always done them. So if you're like, well, I've always did it this way, that way, by the book. I've always, you know, I never quit a job. I always, you know, gave my notice. I always worked my full two weeks. I always did every, every, everything by the book because that's what you've been taught. And I'm not saying to break rules or anything like that, but I feel like by cleaning up the mindset of, I always have to do everything by the book, that cleaning that energy up, you have like the universe kind of working in your favor. You know, so if you're doing something daring or you're like, I'm just going to try something a different way, you know, not so much strict and rigid and, you know, whatever that may be, 
I think more serendipitous events may happen for you by being a little more risk-taking or daring. So it's definitely, you know, about cleaning up what's no longer serving you as well. Definitely here. So we have 3, 9, and 11. So 11 is a life path, soul path number. 9, almost 10, completion, new beginnings. And then we have 3, which again, rebuilding. So let's see what the angels have to say. I feel like you've done things by the book for far too long and it's time to kind of change that mindset and let the universe kind of guide and work in your favor and let serendipity just do its thing. Insight. New dawn is about insight. New beginnings, there you go. Yes, your new beginning is here in release. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got that for another sign where release came out on the clean it up card. So it's definitely about moving on, releasing, cleaning up that mindset, focusing, yes, on new beginnings and let kind of your, your intuition, the universe guide you and lead you instead of doing everything so strict and focused by the book. Let insights and intuition help lead you in the right direction as well is what I'm getting. All right. Let's see here. What else do we need to know here? King of Pentacles. And then we have Judgment, the, the Call. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So we have Virgo, Scorpio. So the King of Pentacles is, would be somebody who does things by the book, male or female, it doesn't matter. And maybe this could have been a father figure, an old boss or something, or someone that taught you. You have to do everything by the book. But we have um, release here, again, with judgment. That's about releasing the old so the new can enter. You know, it can be healing, forgiving, you know, review. Nine of Pentacles this is a very stable, grounded energy. Independent, having everything you need, not really having to worry. And again, the call here is like that universal call and letting it guide you to what? Abundance, independence. Knight of Pentacles. King of Fire. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of slow, methodic, does things by the book, very, very careful. But the King of Fire is very ambitious, go-getter, fiery, passionate. They do things off the book. They do things, whatever lights them up or inspires them, maybe even on a whim. So I have Leo energy here, and we have um, Taurus. Let's get one more. Page of Fire. This is about listening to your ideas, your intuition, your creativity. And just taking in everything that comes your way. The Page of Wands can be about communication, exciting new opportunities. And this is like um, taking in every opportunity that comes your way and not just say, oh no, well, I, I have to go online and I have to apply or I have to research. It has to be this way, it has to be that way. Instead of like letting others give you ideas or opportunities. And then you can decide, well, no, that's not for me. But it's being open to everything that's coming in around you. And ser serendipity is going to work in your favor. Definitely, because your new beginning is here. All right, so let's see what else we need to know for you, Pisces. Pisces, what else do we need to know for you, Pisces? Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. Somebody may be contacting you. Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Yeah, that's about just putting it out to the universe. Okay, I'm open to what the universe has to give me. Show me. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So be optimistic. Put it out into the heaven. And it could be heaven helping you. Or you may get an unexpected uh, person coming in saying, hey, I have this opportunity or something like that. Because you're optimistic and putting it out to the universe, opening yourself up to the universal flow of energy rather than I have to do it by the book. All of a sudden, all these opportunities I feel may come in for you. Wow. All right. I was kind of feeling some energy of romance here. So it could be that um, somebody coming in with an opportunity could lead to romance, but maybe not. Let's see. I definitely feel like um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, so it definitely could be single. To be fair, that's the justice card, so getting what you deserve. 
yang that is masculine energy so it could be a masculine energy coming in here to offer you something that is meant for you with the justice card here new beginning right there with yang and co-create 40 which is four very stable grounded energy so somebody a masculine energy could be coming in here wanting to co-create with you or give you an opportunity that is probably meant for you here with uh, co uh to be fair which is kind of like justice so have 38 which is 12 which is three again about rebuilding and then we have one new beginning and then we have 44 as a stable ground and energy here hmm all right so let's see what the angels have to say here for you pisces let me know if you like this style i kind of keep changing up the way i do these spirit messages seems like every time i do them if you like the usual style of oh i like my oracles over here in a big tarot spread or some like the um layering of oracle tarot oracle tarot so let me know growth compassion and forgiveness hmm. why is forgiveness here discovery love well i felt love i'm like okay where is love i can feel it and there it is love um i mean we may have somebody coming back here that wants to forgive a situation and heal and maybe co-create again we do have love here forgiveness i'm getting i don't even see how that forgive uh goes here i'm kind of feeling like stay optimistic and i did feel this energy that you have a masculine or maybe you're masculine or a female can be masculine coming in here that gives you an opportunity to grow and expand gives you you know someone very compassionate caring nurturing and giving and co-creating together and this i'm feeling like it's going to turn to love that forgiveness i mean it can be about forgiving yourself um as well you may feel guilty because you're not doing things like by the book like you were taught to do and part of you may feel guilty about that i don't know let's see here knight of cups so there's about four movement in love here five of cups and the fool so maybe you felt disappointed in love in the past um but maybe taking a risk here leap of faith with the fool energy so we have this knight of cups could be you and then we have aquarius seven of swords strategy you could have you know been avoiding love for quite a long time here because of fear and disappointment of the past we may be taking a risk here ace of swords so divine clarity from source successful new beginning awakening epiphany aha moment someone you can have great conversation with communication five of pentacles definitely you feel like you've been lacking maybe even lonely for quite a long time maybe also not making enough money where it has to do over here so not only do you feel like the cycle is done and that you've outgrown the situation you have the waves of prosperity so if you've been lacking financially that definitely could be changing and sometimes i get the five of pentacles and maybe a little lonely feeling just like the five of cups six of cups for some of you this could be re someone returning from the past wanting to reconnect forgive and heal and mend they also be maybe coming back with a new opportunity for you in some way eight of fire taking action nine of swords a little stressed out whether or not to take action on this and then we have three of wands and the messenger of air knight of swords looking to the future taking action something's going to move forward very quickly here in your future and you're and you may be a little stressed out about it we have aquarius energy here let's get one more the sun happiest card in the deck you know this is about healing growth expansion love peace harmony joy happy home and family enlightenment so you are you are about to be very happy here so if you're so if this is about someone returning there's a chance to be very happy or this is a new person where you can be very happy with this person it may happen quickly uh in your future just don't stress yourself out about it it could be a past life connection here with the six of cups it could also be somebody maybe you knew in the past you were never romantically involved with and maybe they're coming through with some sort of opportunity for you 
to grow and expand in a whole new way as well. Let's see. King of Swords. You know, this could be a business owner, entrepreneur, somebody that is fair, just in balance. Gemini energy. Queen of Pentacles. This, you may be working underneath this person, maybe like one step below or maybe being a leader. Some are very abundant. So we have Capricorn energy there. Queen of Air too. Wow. So you may be... Um, It could be a business partnership too with several other people as well. Wow. All right. So, wow. I see a little good energy coming in and very different energy for you as well. So it's about being open to this and not doing things so much by the normal anymore. All right. So let's see here. Four Pisces. We have the rainbow there and we did have, I thought we had another one with the rainbow, but the rainbow is, you know, lock expansion growth all right so what are we okay so we have a guardian you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected so if you're worried about your safety don't worry easy does it there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing so again it's about going with the flow following your intuition let things happen as they should be not trying to force things i keep getting like by doing it by the book or whatever that means for you bodies of water. Well, you are a water sign. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your battery. Some of you just maybe love the water. You need to get back out there. Sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. And I kind of got that with tranquility. So I'm feeling like you're going to have more time for yourself as well in creating your sacred space, whether it's in your bathtub, a little nook in your bedroom, your reading chair, whatever that may be. Maybe your sacred space is a place you love to visit near water. Maybe a little cabin or something like that. In infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So the universe has your back here. And it's all about taking that leap of faith. And we have that with the fool over here. Definitely. All right. Pisces. So that's what I have for you. So I hope to help resonate it again. Thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. If you missed your June readings, you can still check them out. They may resonate. Um, they should be timeless anyway. That's just when the messages come out at that time and uh, your July readings. And if you'd like to check out the Twin Flame channel, see what that's all about. If you're interested in that, the link is below as well. So I'm wishing you the best Pisces and I shall see you next time.